In this video, we're going to take a look at using the AI features within Carveco to generate reliefs from your own images. So as the previous video, if I select generate with AI, it takes me to the welcome page. And this time I'm going to generate with image. And that will take me to a new section, much like the text to relief, but it's got an area where I can drag and drop or browse for a image. Now, if I open up this folder down here, you can see that I've got six images that I'm going to be working with in this tutorial. The first one is something that you may have seen. I've done a video using this and I just wondered what it would actually look like. So if I just drag and drop that into the software there, you can see that it gives me a preview of the photograph. So if I click generate relief, it will generate a relief from this photograph for me. Now I know that this is quite noisy, but it's sort of a typical example of what a lot of people would do. So here you can see it generates the relief on the right hand side and on the left hand side, you've got the same options again as the text to relief. So it's basically you get a depth, you get the detail and you get the zero plane. So if I rotate around, you can see that it's added all this depth to it. It's also got a little curve at the top here, and that's all due to the aspect ratio down the bottom here. So it's, it's basically curving that upwards. Now, there are a few ways that you can get around that if you don't want it. One is to draw a vector around the outside of the shapes and then zero it when you come into the software. But what I'm going to be focusing on is basically the detail and the depth of this. As I said before, there's no sizes involved in this at the moment. This is just purely how it looks. So what you want to watch out for is the way that the detail interacts with the depth basically. And then the zero plane is just to bring up the background if you want it to be flat. So first of all, depth. So you can click that drag it and you can create more depth or you can have no depth so this is just basically the 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 texture or the detail of the image so if i bring that up maybe to about there so i've got a little bit of depth not too much and then the detail what we can do is you can add that so you've got lots of detail like so entirely up to you or you can have it so you've got hardly any detail. And you can have this in negative as well if you want to. So let's say that I do this in negative. So this is sunk into the underlying relief. Right, so what I'm going to do is try to remove all the background and you'll be able to see that it does not work. So if I come up there, zero plane, you can see that it's it's getting rid of a lot of the background, but slowly this bottom portion will get higher than parts of the relief. And you can see that I'm starting to lose the relief. So if you wanted to get rid of this background, what you would need to do is maybe bring that back to there, bring this into the software and then draw a vector around there like I did in the previous video and then come round and then just zero that just to remove it. I'm not going to bring this zero plane up. I'm just going to show you what this does. So I can either again, save to the library. I'll call this little boy and dog and save that. Or I can open it in a new model. Now, this is where you will be setting up the sizes. So let's do the origin, let's say bottom left, do this in inches. I'll give this a width of 12 inches and select OK. And then that opens that up and basically it's set at 12 inches. So I can start editing this now if I want to. Let's say I don't like how harsh that detail is, so I can just start smoothing that. So let's move that down to maybe a bit there and apply. And you can see that I've got my relief, which is pretty good considering how much detail was in that original photo. So now I'm going to show you 
another way to do this or another photo and you'll see the difference so if i go to generate with ai I'm not going to save the changes again image to relief and this time i'm going to use this lady here now you can see that this is a, a close-up image of this lady let me drop it in so you can see so you can see that this is a close-up image of this lady it's it's front on there's no background i'm anticipating that this is going to work out great so let's generate that relief okay so that's generated the relief you can see that it's pretty decent it's a, made a pretty good job of that you can see a face looks absolutely great what I'm going to do is just remove any of the detail just for the time being and just take a look at the depth layer. So you can either bring that right out. Maybe you want the face to be a bit more curved or you can have it low and sunk down like so. Let's say that I want it to be around about there. What I want to do is get rid of all of this background. You can see that it's a little bit it's sort of not flat let's just say it's a little bit rippled on the background so let's say that i don't want that and you can also see these artifacts around the edge so let's sort that out in a moment let's just add some detail to this i'm going to add it let's say let's say about there and then the zero plane that's what's going to get rid of that background so I can bring that up. I can also add the, the bitmap to this so I can see it. I can bring that up to there. And this is a perfectly flat background now. So I can save that to the clip art library again. I'll just call that woman and save. And then let's open this in a new model as well. Okay, so that opens that up. Now you can see that I've missed a bit here. Now, if you do happen to do that, it's easy to just, just go round with a, a vector. So just literally go round like that. Let me just node edit that to move that in. Okay, and then just zero inside that vector and that will remove any artifacts that you have there that was just where i missed parts and the same here if you want to get rid of this part of hair you can do the same there now you can see that the detail is a little bit rough so what i'm going to do is go to smoothing again and try to get rid of that okay so that looks really really good i'm really happy with that so select apply and you can see that considering that that has come from a photograph that is a really really nice relief okay let's try some other reliefs so if i go to the file drop down and generate with ai i'm not going to save the changes image to relief let's see what some other things do so i've got these other four images so i've got this flower so let's see what that does so generate the relief and it's got a nice black background so i know that the background is almost going to be flat <laughs> what this is really good for as well is that you can generate these reliefs and then you can save them into your clip art library and you can basically create all these reliefs and then build something up afterwards so let's say i rotate that around that looks really really good so i can drop that down have that up like so detail maybe i'll stick that there and then i can bring the zero plane up just to get rid of all of those artifacts and so it's not got so much of a steep sidewall as well so that looks great so what i'm going to do is save that to the clip art library and as i said i can use these anytime later in the future so i'll open that in the new model I'll just use the default sizes for this and you can see that that's opened up it's really really nice 
Now let's smooth that out. I tend to do a lot of smoothing afterwards just to just to basically smooth that detail layer and sort sort of glue the whole thing together. So there you can see that flower looks really, really nice. If I open up the clip art library, you can see that I've got all of my other reliefs that I created. And let's generate another one. Let's see what the other ones look like. So generate with image. You can see that it, the, the process is pretty much the same for everything really. So I've got this texture, this bark texture. Let's see what that does. Okay, cool. So that's basically giving me this bark. Drop the depth down to there. And then drop the detail, maybe like so. I don't really want to play with the zero plane on this. If I did, I would get rid of some of the texture, as you can see. So I don't really want to do that. And then I can just save this to the clip art library. So let's just call this bark texture and save it. I'm not going to open this as a model. I'm going to go back. Now, when I do that, it gives me a warning just saying that I'm going to lose that relief unless I've saved it to the clip art library. So yes, I'm going to exit that. And let's see what this church is like. So you can do this with any image. Okay, so this has opened that church and this looks really, really good as well. You can see that maybe it's a little bit high at the front because of the aspect, but we can sort that out in the program later. So let's give this a depth, let's say like that. Detail. Maybe quite a bit of detail just to get all the brickwork in here. Zero plane. I can try to get rid of those trees. So you can see that that's got rid of those trees in the background. If I wanted to keep them, just bring them up. Now the problem with trees is that the AI will sort of generates a depth where there's no depth on trees. So you can see here, see how it's created this relief and there is no relief there. So it's it's got a little bit confused to be completely honest with you. So what I can do is click zero plane and get rid of those. Now I may, when I open it up, need to draw a vector around here just to get rid of those little bits. Yeah, because of this top here. So let's just get rid of the majority of that. And then I can save this to the clip art library. Let's call this church. Save that. And I'm going to open this in a new model. I want to take a look at the, the angle on the side of this. So let's say 12 inches. Select OK. I'm not going to fix that. Just draw a, a vector around it and then zero it. What I do want to do is take a look at this aspect here. So you can see that it's slowly coming up in Z. So what I want to do is drop this down. So let's fade the relief. I'm going to go here and maybe here. And then I don't want to fade a hundred percent. Maybe that much. And you can see that it starts to become flat there. So the tools that are used the most when I bring these reliefs in are the smooth relief scale in, in Z and also the fade relief tool. So I'm going to apply that. That looks cool. And I'm not going to smooth this because I want to keep all of this brickwork. Right, let's take a look at another one. So generate with AI. Image to relief. And then finally, we've got this graphic illustration. So if I drop that in and then generate the relief. Okay, so that's given me a really, really nice relief. 
And exactly the same principle, set the depth to whatever you want. Also the detail, let's say there. And then if you want to bring the zero plane up for this, it's going to remove a lot of what I want. So I don't really want to do that. I'm going to save this. Let's call the forest mushroom. I click save and then open that up in a new model. And you can see that that's given me a really, really nice relief. If I want to just move this out, don't really need to select apply. And you can see that that relief is good to go. So that's how you use your own images and convert them into reliefs using the AI tools within Carve Code.